In New Jersey, Governor Murphy this morning took a look at the damage in heart hit neighborhoods in Middlesex County. CBS 2's Christina Fan is live in Jamesburg with more for us this noon. Christina. Well, Chris and Andrea, the rain wouldn't even stop as Governor Murphy toured parts of Middlesex County, visiting those areas with the most severe damage. This ice cream shop behind us says the water got to about 42 inches. The fence you see behind us, as well as those tables, were completely submerged. The business owner says they'll be lucky if they can open by the end of summer. A day after Mobile 2 captured these harrowing scenes along Railroad Avenue in Jamesburg of totaled cars and stranded residents, this flooded grocery store is still pumping water from its basement. A few doors down, Peter Becker's family is power washing the seating area around their ice cream shop, rinsing off the mud and muck. We emptied the store. We already had, we're down to the floor. We have the floor clean already. You know, the big thing is we're going to have to go through all the elect electrical problems. Business owners say this row of stores has flooded at least four times in the last 20 years. Mary Jo Giancola, who leases her building to Seniors Barber Shop, says water gushes down these hills, overwhelms the lake, then floods the street. Every time it rains significantly, we're washed out, and it's pathetic. Um, my tenant's out of business right now until we get the, the building back into some kind of shape. Governor Phil Murphy visited the hardest hit regions of Middlesex County Monday morning, promising the state's support. Locally, county, and state, we will stay at this and do whatever it is we need to do to get people back on their feet. We'll work with the feds. In Helmeta, sleepless families returned at the crack of dawn to this command center, restlessly waiting to learn if they can return to their evacuated neighborhood, hoping for the best but preparing for the worst after seeing these aerial photos of their flooded homes. A neighbor was able to get to my house and go through the Bilco doors and check it out, and it's just ground level water now, but he said that we do have a lot of water damage. Again, the governor says he is working to get federal assistance and that aid from FEMA. Many of these business owners say flood insurance was too expensive, so they didn't purchase it, and many of them are now having to pay for all of this damage out of pocket. Reporting live from Jamesburg, New Jersey, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.